Alfie. Look at his bald patch on the side of his head. Hello. It's easy to say what's on your mind. Said it a million times, tell me what I mean. What's daddy doing to you? No, seriously, what are you doing? <laughs> Good morning. Let's put CBBs on for Alfie. Um, hello. But uh, yeah, I'm back. It's Tuesday today. It's just gone half past eight. And I wasn't going to film anything this week because this week is my last week of maternity leave. And I'm not going to lie, I am very upset. <laughs> this is my last week with Alfie. And actually, no, that's a lie. Last week was my last week with Alfie. He has nursery this week on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday for two hours Wednesday, three hours Thursday, three hours Friday. So he's going to love it. But I, I am going to be sat at home counting down the hours to pick him up. I'll be earning more money, so I can't really complain, can I? And Alfie's going to be coming back to work with me. I thought that when I first had Alfie I find going back to work really easy because I don't really like doing nothing if that makes sense like I don't like being at home not being productive not going out to work and the nine months that I've had off considering I've been at home not doing nothing but I haven't been working it's gone so quickly and I'm very sad about it so I start next Wednesday I'm doing nine till five tuesdays i do eight till six and thursdays i do nine till five well, that brings me on to what i wanted to discuss so obviously my whole maternity i'm pretty sure i could be wrong i think there's like one or two weeks that i've missed i've uploaded a video near enough every single week by the odd few that i haven't been able to that's obviously not going to happen anymore, or it might, I don't know. So I'm gonna be working obviously Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and I'm gonna get Mondays and Fridays off. Monday's the day that I'd usually have a video up on, but if I'm working Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I can't really guarantee that I'm gonna be doing anything <laughs> interesting at the weekends and on my days off for the first, month or two anyway at least while I get used to being back at work because let's be honest I'm not used to having to be anywhere on time at the moment <laughs> I have a leisurely lifestyle I take my time if I'm going anywhere not anymore I'm gonna have to pack Alfie's bag the night before because he's obviously coming with me I'm gonna have to sort my lunch the night before hope that Alfie is up and ready to go at a certain time like he's gonna do it himself I just need to be organized and at the moment I'm not a very organized person <laughs> but yeah what I basically wanted to say was this I made this channel mm, god years and years and years ago I think it was like five years ago maybe even six I don't know years and years ago when I went to Alton Towers with my dad and my stepmom and an ex-boyfriend. I have deleted that video now because awkward and no thank you. So that's not here to see anymore but I think the oldest videos on here are like of me and my best friend Mac <clears throat> and then they turned into I'm expecting videos and now they've turned into weekly vlogs which is actually my fave because I get to see Alfie growing up and I watched a video the other day actually of mine from when Alfie turned a month old and it was really weird because I was watching it and I don't remember doing any of the things that I did in that video so I'm so grateful grateful not grateful thankful I'm so thankful to myself that I decided to do it because there's so many things that I would forget like the first time that he had a bath I filmed that but the aim was never to make this channel necessarily for anyone else's benefit is that, is that weird does that make sense so I didn't make it for people to watch me and be interested in my life because I don't have an interesting life I'm on maternity leave my life's pretty boring pretty average 
and to be honest it's mainly for Alfie to look back on when he's older so he can see what he gets up to and I think it'll be really nice for him to be able to see this is a bit grim but obviously my nan and gramp nans and gramp they're not young and there will come a day when they're not here anymore and I don't know if that's gonna happen when Alfie's old enough to understand that or when he's too young to understand. So the fact that I've got it on camera, my grandparents with Alfie, is quite special to me anyway. So I didn't necessarily think that people would be interested in that. Turns out some of you are, which is nice. But again, this is gonna sound like a bit bitchy, but I don't mean for it to be. I don't, I still don't make the videos that I do with other people in mind. In my head, when I'm filming things, it's for Alfie in the future and when I'm talking about him that's for him in the future it's just I don't know I can't explain it it's just nice that people are also watching at the same time I can tell Alfie that in the future how cute will that be that you know there are people out there Alf that are interested in you and want to see what you get up to and watch how you grow which is so lovely that strangers like I was thinking about this yesterday it's so lovely that strangers that I don't know that I haven't met are genuinely interested in my son's progress and development. I think that's really lovely. Kitty! I am going out today at, well I don't know what time actually, but I am going out. Because my car's got an MOT, I think I said in the last video. Not looking forward to it because it's going to fail. And everyone keeps telling me, no it won't, it'll be alright. No hun, it's going to fail. None of my lights work. I'm not emotionally prepared to part with my money, if I'm honest. So, to get that sorted, I'm going to my mum's. She lives along the road from the place that's doing it. We're going to stay there for a bit. Hope and pray that it doesn't fail. It will, so... Not going to hope and pray that much. And then get on with the day. Probably stay there for a little bit so that mum can see Alf. Might film a bit there, might not. Probably should, because this is my last week of maternity. Yeah, I'll film something when I'm there. What's the day tomorrow? Wednesday. Alfie's got nursery tomorrow. 9 to 11, I think. That's quite early, actually. 9. So we've got a pretty chilled week, really. I kind of didn't... I didn't really want it. I didn't really want it. I didn't want... Get your words out. I didn't want to be doing anything that stressed me out or made me too busy because I wanted to chill for my last week of maternity. Oh, another news. I thought that because I'm going to be going back to work very, very soon, um, I kind of wanted to, ow, that was my actual eyelid. I kind of wanted to book something or plan something that I could look forward to. So I'm not just going back to work with like no end in sight. So Mac and me have booked, oh I didn't, handed. We booked a weekend, kind of, it's a Saturday night and Sunday to go and see which I'm very excited about. I've never been to see her before. She's been to my house once. Hello. Han, if you're watching this, why does it feel like I've seen you? Oh no, I have seen you more than once. Why does it feel like you've been here more than once? I'm very excited to go and see her. We're staying in a hotel. I've been telling, <laughs> I've been telling everyone we're staying in Lakeside. We're not. It's not Lakeside. No, it's not. It's not Lakeside. Are you pooing? Alfie's not coming with me. Alfie's going to be staying here with Matt for the night. So we have that to look forward to. What else can I tell you? Oh, Alfie's nearly crawling, which is crazy. He goes onto his hands and his knees and kind of like rocks backwards and forwards as if he is going to, but he doesn't because he's not quite strong enough yet. Alfie! Alfie! You're going to bump your head. Come back this way. You can go backwards, but not forwards. Is that normal? Um, I think that's all I've really got to say. Don't expect regular updates for a while on here because of work and I'm going to be hanging. We have the night away to see Han to look forward to. Oh my god, Alfie's eating the lights. Catch up with you a bit later. <laughs> Turn that 
Still loving the Teletubbies. What you doing? <laughs> Alfie, time to wake up. Hello? Alfie, it's time to wake up. It's dinner time. Hello? Hiya. Did you have a nice sleep? <laughs> Hello? Are you waking up happy? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's what we want. Should we have some dinner? Come on then. Okay, so this little man has just finished his dinner and he had every single bit of it, which is amazing. Isn't it? Look how grown up you oh. <laughs> look how grown up you look. I'm about to get him dressed. I'm gonna pop him in oh you can't really see. Um these trousers which have hang on, let me stand in front of the light. There we go. These trousers which have cars and bikes and fire engines on. Um, a little white baby grey to go underneath and a jumper which is from next Ow. Ice ring. Ice ring. Hi, good morning. <coughs> happy Wednesday. It's a very happy Wednesday, isn't it? It's just gone eight o'clock and Alfie has nursery at nine. His first nursery settling in. So he's gonna be there for two hours. I'm gonna go to my nan's while that's happening. Um, and yeah, he's going to have a great time, aren't you? Your first day at nursery without mummy. <gasps> without mummy. Uh, I mainly just came here to say that obviously we're going to nursery in a bit. And yesterday I had my MOT, as I said. <sighs> it wasn't good, was it? It was bad. It was worse than bad. It was horrendous. Everything that could possibly go wrong with it is wrong with it. It failed, if you aren't guessing that by the tone of my voice. It failed on four tyres. Uh, the tracking, suspension, brake pads, brake lights, um, the exhaust is rusty, there's an oil leak, um, something to do with the dashboard that means like there's a faint glow on some of the lights that shouldn't be on. Not because the things that are making the lights go on are broken or anything, it's just a dodgy thing in the dashboard so eventually that's going to need to be replaced the whole thing and apparently that costs a silly amount according to the mechanic and for a mechanic to say that oh uh that's great everyone's telling me that i should sell my car i don't want to because i love my little car ow you're not making this any better alfie and yeah i got it through the mot i got the brakes done no i didn't get the brakes done no i must have got the brakes done i got the tires done and i got Oh no, the brakes were an advisory, but they will need to be done ASAP. Um, I got my lights done and the tyres. So it's through the MOT, but there are lots of things that need doing because it's a shit tip. I don't know why though, because it's a 2010 car, so it's not exactly old. Well, actually, we're in 2018 now, aren't we? It's eight years old. I thought it was like four. Oh. But it's a well looked after car, obviously not. <laughs> How am I justifying this? I can't justify it, it's basically a shit tip. Oh, sorry Alfie. It's basically not good. Uh, exciting news yesterday. Matt was messing around with Alfie saying, say dada. Say dada dada. And Alfie went, da da da. And we were like, oh my god, is this like an incredible fluke? And Matt went, say da da da. And he went, da da da. He did it three times. You are such a clever boy. But he hasn't done it since, so... I'm like, was that a fluke? But he did it three times. And he's only six months, and he said, Dada, what the hell? How have we produced a child that's just so advanced? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go now, feed him his bottle before we go out. And then I think we're going to visit Nan after nursery because this is my last week of maternity and possibly the last time that I'm going to, ow, religiously go down there every week. So I'll catch up with you later. See you later. See you later. <laughs> Did you love going to nursery? 
He was so good. They said he was the happiest child that they've ever known. He was really content. And apparently they were singing the Friends theme tune to him because I watch it all the time and he was laughing. No, I'm sorry, so, but I, this is my tally bit. Look, I'm see the tally now. Faster. I'm smiling. Go on then. But I still think that you've got a balance to sit up for you on the call. Not necessarily, I know, but I see your order oh. should be in. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <gasps> Who's that? You know that. <laughs> See, that's Alfie. Are we in focus then or what? Yeah, we are. Hello. It's Thursday morning. Eight o'clock again because we've got a nursery day. Yeah. I briefly said yesterday, but Alfie, um, Alfie had a really good day at nursery. He was really well behaved. I went to pick him up and the staff were like, he's the most chilled out, laid back child we've ever known. And that makes me very happy. It does, it makes me very happy to know that you were happy. We've got nursery at half past nine until half 12. It's another settling in. It's free, which is just delightful. And, um, what else do I need? Nappies. Bear with me, I will still be shouting. I'm very excited. As much as I love him, and as much as you are an absolute gem, and you are really laid back and chilled, it's just nice to have a break. So he's going to be at nursery. I'm going to come back here and edit the video that you're currently watching, and just chill and have a cup of tea, and drink it hot without it going lukewarm. Because that's what happens when you're a mum. I think I've already told you that Alfie has said dada the other day. He said it again yesterday. Say da 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 da. He isn't going to do it now. But that doesn't matter because yesterday I caught it on camera. He's six months old. He's nearly crawling and he's saying dada. What the hell? Uh, what else do we need, Alf? The nursery. Bloody piano. I'm wearing a jumper that I found today. I've never worn it before. It's a high neck. I don't know what these are actually called. What's the proper name? Tur well, it's not really a turtleneck, but it's kind of. It's a half turtleneck. And it's got little dots on. It's really hot. I've never worn one of these before that have a higher neck. And it's making me, like, overheat. So I haven't got a top on underneath. But I don't know if it's see-through. Like, if I step outside into the light... Are people going to be able to see my boobs or I hope not. So yes, I'm wearing this. This is from, I think it's from Matalan, you know. And some leggings and my slipper. Oh. That. Alfie is going to wear a dungaree outfit today. That granddad, his, no, not his dad. That would be wrong. My dad got him for Christmas. At the time I picked it up and was like, oh wow, this is never gonna fit him and it does now so we're gonna wear that today we're gonna look cute i'm gonna obviously go and pick alfie up from nursery and i'm taking my cousin emma because she wants to come i've no doubt alfie will be tired and she doesn't have anywhere at her house for him to sleep other than in my arms and he's heavy now are you doing this on purpose because you never play with that piano right i'm gonna go because i need to give him his bottle before we leave but i will catch up with you later before i forget this is alfie's outfit for today it is, I think this is a baby girl, oh no, it's a top. A top with like, oh, is it gonna focus? It's got elephants and giraffes on. And then a green dungaree thing to go with it. His socks and his Ted Baker coat that Han very kindly bought him, which is actually gonna be too small very soon because this is six to nine months and obviously he's six months now. And I love it so much, and I'm so sad it's not going to fit him anymore. It's my favourite piece of clothing that he actually owns. Look at it. <sighs> so upset. <laughs> okay, I didn't think this would be a thing in this video, but I've just had something delivered, and I've honestly got no idea what it could be. I don't recognise the handwriting either, or maybe I do. I don't know. 
Have I ordered anything? I hope not. Let's see. It looks like this. I don't know. What could this be? Eh? I don't understand. very confused so what it is it's tea I do enjoy tea but it says hi Soph enjoy some wonderful I can't say that word Ahmed 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 Ahmad Ahmad tea during this cold spell and let us know what you think with a lovely snap did they say they were going to send me anything I mean I don't think they did this is the lovely letter that they sent me very cute and here is the tea i do really like tea if anyone knows me and that's a very nice tin how do i get in it though thank you for sending me this if i knew that you were sending it i'm sorry that i don't remember and if i didn't know that you were sending it thank you again this is a lovely way to start the day i might have a bit now it's now four o'clock um i picked alfie up from nursery he had a really good time again he basically, in a nutshell, napped when the other children did, which he doesn't bloody do here, let alone with other children. And yeah, you're smiling because you know. And he ate all of his dinner, so he was a really good boy. My dad has just texted me. I should probably reply. Unexpected uh, turn of the day because my very best friend in the whole entire world mac if you don't know mac where have you been he's my very best pal in the entire universe of best friends ever yeah he is back around this area because he has an interview tomorrow i believe and he texts me saying that he drove past me i didn't see him however he's coming over to visit yay i haven't seen him for hmm feels like ages but it's actually like a month so he's coming over now and i'll probably film when he's here are you drinking it or what look he's here oh hang on you're not Hello. in focus look he's here Hello. why are you here um job interviews where have you got your job interview bristol i went to london on tuesday all these sneaky things you get up to and you don't even tell me. <laughs> if I hadn't have driven past you, would you have even told me you were back? No. Oh. <laughs> 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 well, I've got... <laughs> I was doing coursework all day. I didn't even see you, so that was your own fault. Sorry, yeah. carry on. I just texted you like, hi bitch. And I thought you'd probably saying like... Oh, I, I didn't I see. Like, oh, I'm sorry. Flash, flash. Are you having a great time at uni? No. Oh. <laughs> I just got an exam top back. Did I you pass? 77%. Is that really good? It's the first, yeah. Woohoo! Clever! Isn't he clever? So I'm very happy. Yeah. So hopefully the balance will be okay as well. When do you actually finish? June. That's not long. Mm. <gasps> Exciting times. And then I get to see you all the time. On a scale of yeah. 1 to 10, <laughs> how excited are you to go to... Where are we going? <laughs> Essex. Oh, yeah. I was trying not to say the exact location. <laughs> how excited are you? I'm very, very excited. You are driving. You know that, don't you? Yeah. yeah. So okay. I'm taking my car now. God's <laughs> sake. God knows what would happen to it. We might not make it in mine. It might blow up. His foot looks really funny. But, yeah, very excited. Excited for all the adventures that we're going to get up to. We're going to go to um, that big shopping centre again. Wait, am I looking at the right place? And a Costco. Wait, are they okay? Lakeside. Tesco <laughs> Extra. Han, if you're watching this, I've just told Mac where we're staying and he's um, Googling like the places. I don't know if this is the right place, but there's an Ikea, there's a Costco. No, I've been to fucking Costco before. I've been Q. We're in for a right fucking weekend, we are. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, I don't know if we're looking at the right place. If we're not, What's don't tell him because he'll be disappointed. <laughs>
Let us know, Han. Barking. Link Martin. Link Martin. <laughs> so, as you would have seen, my best pal Mac is here, and being my best pal, he knows everything about me and my life and my child. He just asked me how old Alfie was, and he went, four months. <laughs> no, he's not. He's seven. He's six months. Oh, six. I was right with my second guess. Oh, you have. You me. said seven. <laughs> Great friend. Some this is what happens barrel. when you go away to uni yeah, and you don't that. watch the videos that I upload, obviously, because I state how old he is in those. What was your last video called? Well, exactly, hun. You don't know, do you? Where have I been? Here. <laughs> Plim Town. Oh, you can't see. Wait, hang on. It sounds like an elephant. <laughs> Merch. Represent. <laughs> God. What's wrong? What are you doing? Can you speak? Say da da da. Oh. oh. Watch your head, please. Alfie? Alfie? <gasps> da da da. Da da da. <gasps> da da da. Gonna do it or not? <laughs> da da da. No, okay, hon. I love how you carry him. It's like, <laughs> I don't know how to carry him. He's gonna like. Die of some in there. Come on then. Got it? No. <laughs> Come on. Where's your other foot? Get it through. Oh, Alfie. <laughs> Yay! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> it's just when his feet are tangled underneath and his legs are twisted. <laughs> Thanks for coming over and see you soon. Bye. Oh my god. <laughs> Uni's changed you into a weirder. It's snowing. Here's the little chap this morning. Sorry, it's a bit ow, dark because I've got, sorry, off, because I've got the blinds closed because it's very sunny. Don't want to blind you. But we're having a delightful morning. Hang on, is it better if I go around that way? No, it's not. We are having a delightful morning. Alfie is just finishing up his dinner. It looks looks like this. It doesn't look that great, granted. It's um, cottage pie. And we've also tried some carrots for the first time today. Um, we're slowly getting there with the solids. Although, we've had a few choky moments, haven't we, Alf? We've had a few choky moments. You've scared me a few times, but we're getting there, aren't we? He really likes them. He likes just chewing on things and having them in his hand. So this is the aftermath. We've had about seven carrots, though. So we are doing very well, aren't we? We're doing very, very well. Should we carry on with our dinner and then get you cleaned up? Yeah? <laughs> Hiya. Is that going to be annoying? Mm, maybe if I hold you here. Still annoying. Here. Annoying glare still. What about here? No, I'll take them off. It's Friday today. The week is almost over. I've very nearly finished my last week of maternity. <sighs> Alfie's got his last settling in session at nursery this afternoon at half past two. It's just gone 12, so that's coming up pretty soon. Who's picking you up today? Mummy. And daddy. And nanny. That's exciting. <laughs> so yeah, we're, we're doing that today. I'm going to go for a Costa with my friend Kate who works at the nursery that Alfie's going to. I used to work with her in the nursery that I left. And this evening... Oh, I don't need to hold it there now, do I? I can hold it here. Idiot. And this evening... I'm going to a play. I'm watching my dad's girlfriend's son in a play that he's doing. I don't actually know what it is, but it's like local round by us. So that's at seven o'clock. You literally don't play with that piano all day, but as soon as the camera comes out, my cousin just um, sent me a picture. Look, it's quite humorous. A picture of her cup of tea and it says, when the nail bar make you a cup of tea and the tea bag is still in it. <laughs> But yes, I just, oh, but yeah, I just wanted to, you know, say hello and, and all that. Alfie's finished his dinner. He ate all of it. Didn't you? I don't know what to dress him in today. 
is currently naked in an well he's not naked he's got a nappy on but he's currently in a nappy so i need to find something to dress him in pack his bag and then we are going to go aren't we i've lost track of what i'm saying basically hello happy friday the week's done anything else i need to tell you probs not i need to get alfie dressed is what i need to do oh yeah we don't have anything planned this weekend matt does football on a saturday but we don't go and watch that because it's cold don't think we're doing anything sunday either so maybe this is just going to be a chilled vlog of nothingness i'm gonna go i might catch up with you tomorrow might not see you later because i'm going to the play so yes i will catch um, you so if you can hear the washing machine in the background ow wow it's very bright that way um it would appear that we didn't do anything interesting this weekend did we what did we do what did we do did we do anything I think we did. Alfie's got a really bad cold. Here he is. You've woken up today particularly snotty and coughing, haven't you? You didn't sleep very well last night. You were up at one, two, four, five, and half past seven. So that was really great. I'm feeling really awake today. He's all right in himself in the day. It's just at night. He's just, I don't know. And he's a bit snotty now. So I've given him some cow bowl because he's going out today. He probably shouldn't be, but he is going to soft play today, and to be fair, he's not really going to do anything anyway. He's pro probably just going to sit and chill. It's more so to just get him out of the house, to be honest, because he's been in all weekend, and I don't know. If I've got if I've got a cold, I tend to feel worse if I stay in and don't get out and about. Yeah, so Alfie's going to soft play today. I am not. He's going with his nan for the whole day, I think, actually. And um, I'm going to stay home, do some... What the hell is she wearing? Do some things that I need to do. Tidy. Get a few things ready for work. I start work on Wednesday. Exciting and scary at the same time. Yeah, that's about it, really. Today is just an organising day. And then tomorrow I've got Alfie all day. And that's our last day together before mummy goes back to work. And she becomes so tired all the time i went to my friend's house last night we watched the beginning of what's it called that new love island program but it's not love island the knockoff love island the poor man's love island <laughs> that's what we watched and it was crap so we turned that off and started watching altered that's very somerset altered carbon on netflix it's actually quite good so that was a nice burp hopefully i'm gonna tidy and get it all done and then i've got the rest of the day to just chill i need to pre-make pre-make is that what the word is i need to pre-make some food for alfie for the week because obviously he's not going to be at nursery all day he's going to get picked up at about one so from one till five i need to get some tea for him because by the time i get home it's going to be gone six and matt just can't imagine him sitting down giving alfie his dinner to be honest that's something that i kind of do yeah that's the plan not very exciting and i thought i would just sign off here really i need to edit this video so i'm going to do that in a minute and hopefully get that up today but i'm going to sign off here because obviously i'm not doing anything exciting and i just wanted to say thank you ever so much i sound like i'm going forever i'm not but thank you ever so much for just sticking around and if you found my consistent weekly vo weekly vlogs entertaining then thank you because that's really nice that you find my life interesting enough to want to watch because it's not if you saw me right well you are going to see me right now here i am i'm in my pajama bottoms a really old dressing gown i've got a pack of biscuits on the table that are half eaten and it's just this is my life nice Right, Alf, do you want to say goodbye? I don't know when I'll catch up with you again. Maybe next week, maybe not. See what I get up to and wing it, basically. Right, do you want to say bye? So see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>